Hello and welcome to Yoga Meditation in Wickham Park. Today's class is all about brain power. So when we clearly inhale deep, so let's just do it real quick right now. Inhale one, two, three, hold it. And now exhale slowly, three, two, one. Now when you deepen that over time, that means when it's longer. So inhale longer, like for a count of four or five, and then your exhale is the same amount. You're going to feel a deeper relaxation in your body and you're going to heal your brain. That's right, oxygenated air is going up into your brain and you're feeling really, really good. So let's get started in brain power yoga meditation in Wickham Park today. So we're actually going to start lying down today. So I want you to take your pillow, YouTube, Facebook, you're going to need an eye pillow or a dry washcloth to go over your eyes and a pillow and go outside. If it's too cold outside, then um, find a nice place indoors where there's lots of light so you can breathe in the nice vitamin D that you need. We're going to actually use the pillow at our feet open our knees wide and then slowly lower down onto the blanket and we're going to start off this way and the reason we're going to start off this way rather than standing up is because sometimes we need to gather our thoughts we need to organize our mind take one hand place it over the heart one hand place it over the belly but make sure you rest your elbows onto the surface of the earth because we want to feel that earth vibration. When you slowly breathe in, count to number three first. Inhale, one, two, three, and slowly exhale, three, two, one. Continue those long, slow, deep breaths and pretending or visualizing that that healing light of energy is coming up through your feet. So you're stopping for a moment and feeling it in all four corners of your feet. And a ray of light is shining up through your ankles, shins, calves, around your knee area. It's flowing up your thighs, front of the thighs, back of the thighs, buttocks area, hip area. And each time you inhale, you're pushing the energy up, the healing white light up. So you're feeling it in the belly area where the belly button is. And each time you exhale, you're settling that energy into your muscles, bones, ligaments, organs. Inhale the energy up to the chest area, shoulders. And when you exhale the energy, it's going into the heart, the lungs, the esophagus, and the liver. And you're feeling your spine flatten out against the earth a little bit more. This is an important class today because it's all about brain power. Our pain gives us choices to choose. Our brain tells us whether we are happy, whether we are sad, whether we want to exercise more, whether we want to eat better, drink better. And now our brain is going to tell us thank you, thank you, thank you. So all that energy is flowing up through the neck, to the back of the head, to the top of part of the brain. You're seeing a brighter light behind your eyes because your energy is focusing on that brain lighting up like a light bulb. You ever seen a dimmer on the wall where the dimmer goes up and the light gets brighter and brighter and that's going up into your brain, into your mind.
And now when you exhale, settle in that energy flowing round and round, clockwise in your mind. Now imagine your celestial being is getting up from where you're at and staring down at you. You're seeing yourself lie here on the ground. And there's a hue of light starting in the center of your abdominal area. And if you've ever seen a spiral drawn, it starts from the middle and goes round and round clockwise out out so it's nice and big. Imagine that spiral in the center of your belly button going round and round till it reaches the outer edges of your body. And that spiral is lit up like a neon yellow light. You're breathing in, breathing in. Inhale, hold the breath. Now slowly exhale, let the energy settle into your back. Feel the spine hug the earth in your hips, in your legs, in your shoulders. Settle. You see, feel that sinking sensation. And now you're starting to become more aware of how your body feels. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Before we get into our first exercise of the day, we're going to say a positive mantra to ourselves. I am the light. The light I am. Repeat that two more times in your mind after me. I am the light. The light I am. I am the light, the light I am. Exhale into those words, absorb it into your body. Now I'm going to share with you, I'd like you all to join me in on this vibration of sound inside of your body, because this vibration works like a ripple, and it goes all the way to the edges, into the pop, pop, top part of the brain, and opens up a deeper healing power inside of you. We're going to say on the exhale, ah, mmm. Breathe in with me, inhale, inhale, inhale. And now exhale, ah, ready? Ah. And you feel your body relaxing on a deeper level. Isn't that wonderful? For three more breaths, become aware of the breath flowing in through the nose and absorbing into your body. Now we're ready to bring the knees together on the inhale, put the pillow off to the side because we want our feet flat on the yoga blanket. We're gonna use that to come up into bridge. 
The hands are going to come down by the hips, palms facing down. Spread the fingers wide to feel that stretch of sensation in your palms. And when you're ready, go ahead and lift up your hips towards the sky. Hold it here for a moment. Breathe in. And now bring those hips down on the exhale. Ooh. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, lift up. Feel that stretchy sensation. Really use your glutes to push your hips high. And then Lori, slowly drop your back down onto the ground. And we get that like little reprieve in the body. Two more times, up. And down. Up. And down. Now let's take a cleansing inhale and exhale for a nice little breath break before we go into the next one. Inhale. Fill up the belly all the way so you feel nice and tight in the body. Inhale. Inhale. Sneak a little bit more in. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. 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 Ooh, do you feel those shoulders drop, Lisa? Yeah, that's what we want. Taking the left ankle and crossing it over the right knee, we're coming up in one-legged bridge. Ready? Breathe in. Lift up your hips. Breathe out. Come down. We're strengthening our right side of our body. We're stretching our left side of our body. We're using our arms to lift us up on the inhale. Breathe in up. And then we're settling into the exhale, absorbing that into our body and our brain. Up. Down. Inhale. Really press it up. Hold it up here for a moment. And then slowly drop it down. Feel that resting sensation. Jeannie, oh yeah, that felt good. Release the left ankle from the left, from the right knee, and then cross over the right ankle to the left knee. Now our legs are in figure four on the right side. We're going to lift up our hips towards the sky. Press really tight. Use the strength of your strong thigh, Lori. And then slowly drop it back down. Relax, Lisa. The back to the surface. Give yourself a breath break and then inhale again, come up. And down. Two more. Up. And down. Closing that up, your eyes for that deep mental focus on being aware of your body. Let's inhale together one more time. Up. And exhale down. Taking the knees and both feet are flat on the surface, we're going to drop the knees to the right side. When you drop the knees to the right side and windshield riper legs, you're feeling that, oh, hello, hello, left hip is opening up, yum, yum, yum. Now you can use your pillow underneath the right side of the knees, Lori, if you need to, or you can just slowly relax the legs. That's it, let them go, good. And when you feel those legs separate and relax, because you gave your body permission to do it, it's like, oh, okay, hello. Two more breaths. We're going to inhale the knees up to the sky and then drop them to the left side. Drop them to the left side. Windshield wiper knees to the left. Relax them. Let them flay whatever they need to. The hands are still down by the side, palms facing down. We're giving our arms a break for a moment. 
breathing in and slowly breathing out. Three more breaths, take your time. <coughs> We're slowly gonna come out of this pose by bringing the chest to the left side and rolling over onto our knees and hands. The chest rolls over to the right side we come to the elbows, we lift up the palms, twisting our body on, so we're on all fours now. Hands and knees. Ooh, that felt good, hello. <sighs> shake the booty, shake the booty, shake the booty. Hi guys. Oh, look at Etta come. So happy to see you, sweetie. Etta's visiting us, she's a bird flying from the north. I'm so happy to see you. Taking a rabbit pose, I want to share with you this particular pose, which is really good for the brain power. But if it doesn't jive with you, then don't do it. You're going to place the crown of your head to the surface, and you're going to press your hips forward till you feel a stretch in the occipital ridge, the base of your skull. Now we're doing baby rabbit to start off with, and then we'll go to full rabbit in the last four. Press your hips forward. Your hands are still bound by your ears on the resting on the yoga blanket you're breathing and pressing forward and you're breathing out relaxing backwards so you're only pressing forward as far as you want to stretch your neck and then relaxing two more breaths And when you press forward this time, inhale, hold it, and then exhale, relax. Now, if this doesn't drive with you, you're going to probably come off of your head, but we're going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to take the hands and clasp them above the head, behind the back. Rest them on the lower lumbar, because on the inhale, you're going to reach those arms up, press it for your body forward like I did before, and then on the exhale, you're going to come back and drop your hands to the surface. And again, I'm going to remind you this pose is not for everybody. Breathe in, lift up those arms, press forward, breathe out, relax. Two more. Inhale up, press forward. Exhale, come back. The hands come down and rest on the sacrum. One more. Inhale, up with the arms. Press forward. Exhale, slowly bring those hands down. Un separate the hands and press into the yoga blanket to lift you up. Coming in to thread the needle on the left side first taking the left hand, reaching the left hand towards the sky. We're gonna hold it up here. Reach, spread the fingers wide, hold. Inhale. Exhale, slowly bring that left hand down. It's gonna thread underneath the right and your left ear is gonna to come to the surface. YouTube, Facebook, be mindful of your neck. Adjust your knees underneath you if you need a cushy pillow underneath there be mindful of that as well walk your right arm forward to stabilize your stance a little bit more right now I'm feeling a stretchy sensation in the left side of my neck if that's not jiving with you then come out of the pose please inhale exhale three more breaths and once again I invite you to close your eyes if you don't get that vertigo ish sensation to tune into where your breath is flowing in your body. Right now it's flowing to that cranky lower back. You're stretching at your arm. It's flowing to the stretchy sensations. The neck area. Because 
Because what we're doing is we're opening up that brain power. When our neck is tight, it creates resistance. It's like tying a knot in a rope. And if you have knots in your neck, that brain power of healing energy, blood flow mixed with air, your breath flowing up into your brain, breathe in deep. Exhale, relax that shoulder. Here we go, relax those arms. And that's it, Rod, that's what we want, hello. Now we're slowly gonna walk that right arm in to lift us up to thread the needle on the opposite side. Using the stability of our right hand, raise, excuse me, our, using the stability of our left hand, raising our right hand up towards the sky. Spread the fingers wide. Hold it here for a moment. Breathe in. Slowly exhale. Thread the right arm underneath the left. Right ear comes to the yoga blanket. Left arm stretches forward for stabilization. We want that right shoulder coming up as far as we can towards the chin. Relax into it, that's it. Let your body relax into it, Edda, as you relax your arms, your hips, your legs, your feet. In this pose, there is no tension on the inhale or stretch. There's just allowing the body to relax into this pose because the body is up and we're relaxing and exhaling down. Inhale. Exhale. Ooh, that was nice. Did you notice on the exhale, Rod, how your body just kind of sunk a little bit more? Yeah. Two more breaths. Now we're gonna slowly bring in that left arm to help lift us up. Left arm comes in. Now we're in all fours. Woohoo, hello. When you're on directly underneath your wrist, your wrists have a lot of weight on there. If that doesn't jive with you, walk your hands forward, dig your fingertips into the Yoga Blanket Yoga Mat YouTube Facebook. You alleviate pressure on your wrists. So if that's the case when we're doing these yoga poses, then do that. Lift up the right leg like you're doing a fire hydrant. We're gonna stretch it back and we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna hoover it above the surface and then just kind of round the circles up, back and down. We're toning our up, back, down. Do that five more times at your own pace. We're toning our abdominals, our glutes. We're strengthening our legs and understanding that sometimes we can't go to the number eight. And that's that whatever number you can go to with your body is good. Three more. Now that burning sensation is letting your body know it's building strength and that's what you need. You're going to drink lots of water after this. One more time around. Good. Coming off of the wrist for a moment, we're gonna shake them out. Oh, yes, I wanna shake my wrist out. Ooh, that's it. Coming back to the wrist, doing the left side. Lifting up the left leg, straightening it backwards, and then bringing it down. Keeping that motion seven more times, total of eight. Get as high as you can. Feel how high you can go to stretch that groin muscle, strengthen that glute muscle.
Let's go for two more times. One more time. And now we're going to rest those wrists. Coming into a wide-legged child's pose. Open the legs about a foot and a half wide to two feet. Depending on your body, you can tuck your toes under or the toes can be flat. The toes tucked under gives you less of a sensation. And then slowly bring those butt cheeks towards the heels. Sink down in between your legs and the arms come forward. You can always bring your pillow and rest your forehead on your pillow. You can always rest your forearms on your pillow. So you're not coming down so far. Because when you come, it took me the yoga teacher a very long time to come down into this child's pose I mean I was way up here because that's where my body was at it was excruciatingly painful in my legs and my lower back but over a period of time this is one of the poses that I ask you to do every morning go to the bathroom get back in bed and then do this child's pose before you get out of bed in the morning Breathe in slowly and breathe out. Now, if those knees open up too wide, it's too much for your groin, bring it back in. We're here for six more breaths. We want to give those wrists a break before we come up to our down dog. Feel the energy flow from your tailbone all the way up to your brain. Allow your elbows to sink into the surface. To relax forward. Two more breaths. Breathe in together on this last breath. Inhale, inhale, hold, Jeannie. And then slowly exhale. Feel yourself sinking a little bit more, a little bit more. And now you have that calmness centered in your body, Lori. On the next inhale, we're slowly going to come up. Prepare our arms and legs for down dog. Fingers spread wide. Knees come together. Toes tuck under. Push back. Pop up. Push back again and down dog. And then walk the dog so that Achilles heel and those calves get that nice stretch. That's it, Lisa. Whoo, hello. Now we're really going to strengthen those arms. We're only going to do this three times. So I ask you to follow through with me. We're going to stop walking the dog. Lift up the left foot. Tuck the left toes under. Bring it up high. And then bring it back down. Lift up the right foot. Bring it up high. And bring it back down. There's a lot of weight on that forward. I'm very aware of that. But feel the strength building in your body. You can always come out of it. I don't want you to overdo it. This is a bit building strength time. We have one more with the leg up. The left leg. We're bringing it back down. And we're bringing the right leg up. And back down. And now we're walking our hands to our feet and we're slowly grabbing the ankles and just hanging we're hanging here like a light piece of fruit and we're kind of swaying from side to side keep the eyes open if you're too wobbly and when we slowly come up Press the hips forward as you come up to standing. And when we slowly come up, we get a little less wobbly. We're still going to be a little bit wobbly when we come up and go, oh, Good morning. Oh, 
taking her hands on her hips for a slight back bend. Breathe in, look down at the ground. Slowly come back with the shoulders and the elbows, and then slowly come back up. Two more times. Look down at the ground for balance. Slowly come back. Elbows touch, and then come forward. Elbows try to touch. Let's put it that way. Inhale. Elbows try to touch. And then exhale. Ooh, loving that part. Taking the left foot. Left foot is forward, right foot is back. And then let's kind of bring the right toes a little bit towards the left. So it's like a little bit towards 45 degrees. Left knee out towards left pinky toe coming up into warrior two. Stare in front of you. That nice middle finger, stretch your hands away from your shoulders. Ooh, that feels good. Inhale. And on the exhale, bring that right hand to the right thigh and then the left hand to the sky. Reach up on the inhale, breathe, reach. And then on the exhale, first straighten the left leg and then we're gonna bring the left hand down to the left shin. Preparing for our triangle on the left side. Left hand, left shin. Right hand comes to the sky. The right hand stops at the shoulders. And then the right arm all the way comes back on the inhale, staring at the big toe for balance. And then slowly drop that right arm to the shin, Lori, and prepare for the reverse triangle, taking your time with your arms. When you're ready, lift up that left arm, stare at the big toe for balance. Lift it up as high as it can go and then slowly bring it back down. Hold both hands on the left shin, preparing for our baby warrior three. Bend that left knee out towards the left pinky toe. We're gonna to reach both arms forward at the same time, but we want both thighs squeezed in for stabilization. Squeeze both thighs in, reach both arms forward, Bring the hands together in prayer and lock the thumbs into place by crossing them over each other. Tuck the chin in. Reach, reach, reach on the inhale. And then slowly straighten out the left leg and drop both hands back to the shin. Oh yes, hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Forehead to knee. Let's hang out here for a breath. Inhale. Exhale. And when you come down like this, you're staring at the big toe on your right foot. We're slowly going to come up, bending the left knee towards the left pinky toe first. Left knee bends to the left pinky toe. Coming up into warrior one, lifting both arms up, swooping them up towards the sky. And we're going to connect the hands together above the head. Connect the hands together. Cross the thumbs over the, each other YouTube Facebook. Look down at a non-moving object. That's it, Lori. Adjust the back foot if you need to. That's it, girl. Breathe in. Reach. Pray our hands towards the sky. Breathe out. We're going to hop. Right foot to left. Prayer mountain. Ready? Hop. Right foot to left. Prayer mountain. Now that warrior dance, vinyasa flow, really made the heart beat strong, and that's good. Let's tune into the heart's energy just for a moment. So tuning into the heart's energy brings the power of breath up to the brain. Because when you breathe in, you're lifting it up. When you breathe out, it's settling in to peace, to calmness, and yes, to happiness. Brain power. Now open the eyes. The right foot is going to come out and the left foot is going to come back. We're gonna bring the left toes just a little bit towards the right heel and bend the right heel towards the right pinky toe. Open up warrior arms, reaching those fingertips away from the shoulders, breathing in. When you in exhale, bring the left hand to left thigh and the right hand to the sky. And again, when you're doing this vinyasa flow, Lori, look down the ground for balance. Find that non-moving object to help out. It does me. Reach those fingertips up towards the sky. Breathe in. Press your hips towards the center to align the body. 
And when you breathe out, straighten the right leg first. Then drop right hand to right shin nice and slowly, simultaneously lifting that left arm up to the left shoulder. Fingers are spread wide on the front, and then we're slowly stretching that left arm back on the inhale, pressing the left hip forward. Ooh, that's a nice stretch in the hips, yeah. Stare at the big toe or something on the yoga mat, and then slowly exhale the left hand down to the right shin, taking your time. When the left hand meets the right shin, the right arm comes up in a reverse triangle. Again, find your focal point to stare at. Breathe in, reach up. And breathe out slowly. Right hand comes down, meeting the left hand. Both hands are on the shin. It's our indication to bend that left knee, excuse me, that right knee out towards the right pinky toe. Squeeze in both thighs. Now they're nice and stable. We can reach both arms forward. Just for a moment, just for a breath. Prayer pose, lock the thumbs into place to hold the hands together. Breathe in. Reach the fingertips away from the body. And then slowly exhale, straighten out that right leg. Ooh, good strong legs, everyone. Exhale, forward bend, bringing the hands to the shin and the forehead to the shin, to the knee. Inhale, exhale, heel for a breath break. Bending the right knee out towards the right pinky toe. Using nice strong thighs to swoop the arms up. Lift the body up first, lift the arms up. That's it, Lori, good. Reach the hands towards the sky. Feel that left hip square with the right knee. Inhale, reach up with both arms. That's it, Etta. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And on the exhale, we're hopping left foot to right. Ready? Hop left foot to right. Ooh. Now, once again, we're giving ourselves a three breath break reprieve. Just dropping our chin into our chest and catching our breath. Slow inhale and slow exhale. Oh, that felt good in the body, yes. We raise the heart rate, which brings that brain power opened up even more. Hands come down by the sides. We're staring at a non-moving object what's in front of us. Breathing and bringing the left knee up and then the right knee up, flexing the toes at the same time. Ready, left knee up, staring at her. Focus point, left knee down. Right knee up, right knee down. Now we're doing this seven more times on each side. You have the motion of it. Really bring that knee into the chest to feel that nice stretch. Good, up and down. Up and down. When I was first doing yoga, no one ever told me, hey, it's going to help your balance when you stare at a non-moving object and you keep staring at it. And that's also going to help your focal point. It's like you're zeroing in on that, your gaze. We call it Trataka in yoga. It's a meditation gaze. It helps center the mind on one object instead of everything else going on around you. We're strengthening that lower back as we're bringing that knee into the chest. We have three more times on each side. Flex those toes up, getting that nice stretch in your arch of your feet. Good. One more time on each side. Ready? Hold the knee up. Good job. Now slowly bring it down. Now. That's nice, Lori. Good. Now let's do the left one. Excuse me, the right one. Slowly bring it up. 
hold it. And then slowly bring it down. I know they're very vocal, aren't they? they they're very vocal during our class. We have these ravens that are very vocal during our class. And we love it. That's what it's all about. Okay. Coming down to down dog, and this time we're going to bring the arms up and come into a nice back bend, bringing the hands together. Now we can look down at the ground, breathe in, and then swoop the arms down, swan dive down. We're going to come halfway, just bending at the waist, the hands are on the shins. Halfway, tuck the chin in. So when we tuck the chin in, it's like we're opening up the occipital ridge, the base of our skull, when you breathe in. When you breathe out, keep the hands on the shins and then just allow your body to fold forward a little bit more. And we're gonna, it's going to be kind of funny here, but we're going to shake our booty. Move the booty right and left. When you move the booty right and left, you're feeling it in the ankles. You're feeling it in the calves. You're feeling it in the hips. And then again, if it's too vertigo-ish with the head coming down, then we're not going to do that. That's your indication that I'm going to stop the exercise and wait till the next one. Stopping in the center, preparing for down dog, walking the hands forward until you feel that stretchy sensation in the Achilles heel. Breathe in, push back and down dog and hold. We're holding the strength in our arms. We're breathing in and out in the hold. Breathe through any shakiness in your arms. Just think of that shakiness as your muscles building strength. And that's exactly what's happening. Inhale. Exhale, push back a little bit more. Come to the knees. And now we're in hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide. Get to cat cow, we want to hold our cat cow. We're not gonna flow, we're gonna hold. When we inhale, chin comes up towards the sky. The derriere comes up towards the sky. Hold this as you inhale. Hold the breath as well. Breathe in. Now breathe out. Chin into the chest. Really stretch the spine towards the sky. So you're using the heels of your hands to push your back up. Your spine is stretching towards the sky like the St. Louis Arch, and your tummy is tucked in. Breathe out all the air and hold. Good. Relax the spine. Dropping the left hip to the blanket. So we're stretching the left hip towards the blanket, but we're not quite dropping all the way. And then we're coming up using those nice strong leg power and then dropping the right hip to the blanket. And now go ahead and flow seven more times on each side. Because this stretchy hip sensation helps get rid of those doubts in your mind. Doubts about your body. Doubts about how your life is flowing. When you open up Molotara Chakra, which is our hip chakra, our root chakra, our earth chakra, we're breathing through the stretchy sensation. And now concentrated on that hip flexor opening up through our mind's eye. And we can visualize a white light ball in the hip area, the glute area. Just shining and healing. We're doing this one more time on each side, but we're going to hold this, hold it. So we're going to drop left hip to the surface. And you can see I'm a, suspended above there. We're just holding that right here. Breathe in, breathe out. Ooh, that hip dropped a little bit more, didn't it? Now let's come up and do the same thing to the right side. 
Suspend that right hip above the surface, Lori. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ooh, love that part. Come up nice and slow, preparing for on our back, our meditation, relaxation. Now, I have eye pillows. That's it, Rod. There's an eye pillow in that, in the brown bag. There you go, babe. And if you want to tuck yourself in, there is a blanket in that black bag to wrap yourself in. Once again, taking the pillow, placing the feet on top of the pillow, and slowly lowering to the back. Oh, we love this part of yoga class, don't we? We're going to share with you a meditation that is going to help heal your brain. You're going to come back to this video time and time again, even if you skip all the exercises. Skip to the end. That's perfectly fine. We're going to open up the left and right side of the brain. Place your eye pillow over the eyes. Now your eye pillow has aromatherapy on it. And if you're really sensitive to that, I suggest you don't use the eye pillow. Because I do not want to burn your eyes or skin. Just want you to have that nice, smelly sensation that'll help open up your mind energy. Place one hand over the belly, one hand over the heart. When we exhale, we're going to press the back of the neck into the surface at the same time, lower back. Breathe in, inhale, inhale. Fill up the belly all the way. And then slow exhale, exhale, exhale. Press the lower lumbar, the back of the neck into the surface. And now relax. And now that the body is relaxed, we're going to open up your left and right frontal lobes. Those are right underneath your forehead. Tuning in with your third eye, you're actually going to, with your eyes closed, look underneath your eyelids like you're doing cross eyes to the middle of your forehead. Ready? Look. Now close the eyes, allow the eyelids to sink back. Doing that two more times. Inhale, look. Exhale, relax. Inhale, look. Exhale, relax. Now if you see a purplish light or color behind your eyes, that's good. You're tuning in deeper with your third eye because the uh, third eye is indigo. Now it's kind of hard not to be aware of the birds that are flowing around us. But the reason I want to share with you the reason why they do this at yoga class is because we are setting off all of us together a vibration of energy of calmness and of peace and the elements the other animals feel that energy. So remember that ripple in the water we talked about? When you inhale, on your exhale, ripple that energy. You can do it in the form of white light, red light, however favorite color you seem. It could be um, indigo, it could be bluish, whatever color. Send that vibration of ripple circles out into the universe. Inhale, inhale, exhale slowly, send it out.
Keep inhaling and exhaling, sending those vibrations outward. And you say, Athena, well, what am I sending out? You're sending out your healing light. Because the ripple comes back. You might not know um, what direction your life is leading you. Tomorrow, the next minute, you name it. But the universe does. And it's going to give you clues. And you have to tap into that energy. And that's what we're doing now. We're listening to what the universe is telling us. Keep the visualization of the ripple on your exhale flowing out. Now we're going to accept that ripple back in. Have you ever seen the sun? How it's hidden behind the clouds. And then all of a sudden it separates a little bit so the clouds allow the rays of sun to come down into your body. And it looks so heavenly, it's like, ah, moment. Imagine you're underneath the beams of sun and your body is lit up in warm energy. Breathe into it. Body to body, mind to mind, soul to soul. In this circle, we are whole. We open up the energy from above to come into this body with love. Exhale. We're going to hold our breath again in another quantum healing energy hold. And when we exhale, hugging our elbows into our body and our arms wrapped around us. Breathe in. Breathe in. Inhale. Nice tight body. Hold. Exhale. Start to bring the elbows into the body. Start to hold the torso. Squeeze the elbows. Squeeze your hands on your body, hugging yourself. Exhale. Hold. Relax your arms and elbows back where they were. Our frontal lobes are the areas in the brain, the right and left side where we make decisions. Where we take those choices in our life and we choose to heal our body. We choose to allow good energy in. And now we're going to put a block on 
unserving energies. There's a lot of people that come into our lives, the naysayers. And the biggest naysayer of all is your mind telling your body that it's not good enough. So you're going to turn that around. I don't like the way I look. I'm too this, I'm too that. I'm too ugly, I don't like my hair, I don't like my body. I'm sad, I'm lonely, I, all those unserving emotions, you're recognizing the thoughts that you're telling yourself, right? Now let's turn that around. And let's repeat some mantras in our minds. When you inhale, the visualization is that spinal column of energy flowing up to your brain. When you exhale, you're saying in your mind's eye, I am strong. I feel love inside. I feel whole inside. Breathe in one more time to seal that energy in and exhale, absorb it in. So catch yourself later on today when you look in the mirror, tomorrow, next week, catch yourself saying those things in your mind's eye. Because we've done it in the past, haven't we? I've told my body, oh, look at that zit. That doesn't look right on me. It makes my face look ugly. Oh, look at that nose. It's broken. It doesn't look right. What can I do to change it? I feel embarrassed. To, I am strong. I feel love inside. I feel whole inside. Inhale deep, 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 whole. Exhale slowly, slowly, slowly. Now before we rise and close class, become aware one more time of how your body is feeling in this moment. How it feels in relation to the wind flowing across the body. The solidarity of the earth on your spine and your head. It's at absolutely perfect temperature today and that's because of the sun warmth. So just see the sun even though it's cloudy out in your mind's eye and connect with it. That is your fire energy, your fire element. Connect with the body of water of lake that's next to us. Just visualize it in your mind's eye. And now the fifth element, ether. It's the moment in time where you hold your breath and we've done a lot of that today. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, hold. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Press the belly button to spine, squeeze out all the air and hold the breath out. Ready? Hold. 
relax the body once again. Slowly bringing the knees up, breathing in at the same time. We're going to roll over onto the side. It's going to be pretty bright with the eye pillow falling off. Roll over onto the side. Ooh, hello. We're going to hang out here for a sec. Breathing in. And then using that top arm to lift ourselves up to a comfortable seated position. Ooh, hello. Good morning. <laughs> Love that. In this comfortable seated position, we're lacing our fingers and we're stretching our arms for tucking our chin into our chest. Once again, feeling that stretchy sensation in the body and stretching out our fingers at the same time because my hands are cranky. And then slowly bring the hands together in a prayer Anjali Mudra, pressing the thumbs into the sternum and drawing the ears away from the shoulders. Close the eyes. Inhale deep. Exhale slowly. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 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 yoga power.